Hi guys, so I recently got some stuff in I would like to share with y'all, and um, so I will do that. If any of this stuff is still available, um, I'll have some links in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a smock mission if you're a purchase items those links. So I have some stuff from Spellbinders I had picked up, um, and HSN, and I think some Amazon things. And real quick, yeah, I just, and so real quick, I just want to say a thank you to one of my subscribers and pals here um, on YouTube, Teresa Brown. She's so funny. We had uh, emailed them. We were talking about, she mentioned something about MBTI, which is like the um, Myers-Briggs, like personality kind of, I don't know what else you want to call it, scale, or I don't know. Um, anyway, and I had mentioned, though, you know, back in the day, my husband had remembered that I was an ESP, uh, FP, and I was like, that's, like, impossible. I'm so different from that now. Like, that's not even who I am. But maybe when I was younger, because I was always, I guess, considered the life of the party and just, like, whatever, and I don't, I, yeah, I just go with it. But anyway, um, and so we were talking about that, and I had mentioned to her, so, oh, I like to watch Frank James. Um, he has a really sweet, funny channel. Like, he's so cute about um, MBTI personality testing and all that. And um, so, yes, yeah, so I went to my post office box, you know, picking up swaps, and I'm like, what is this? Because there was a box there. It said crowd made. And literally, I opened it up like this, and the first thing I see, I was like, say, I'm like, what? Wait, what? I was like so confused. So thank you so much, Teresa. I'm sure um, it, you know, didn't have a little note, but I'm sure she's the one I sent out. I'll be emailing her shortly, but that is too funny. I love it. Thank you so much. Like, <laughs> too funny. So I appreciate it. Thank you. That's my first crowd made item I've ever gotten, I think. So anyway, really fun. Um, okay, so guys, uh, real quick from Amazon, I had picked up recently this little crochet kit only because I'm always buying crochet hooks because I misplace them and I keep them and then you know you want to have several of a certain size because maybe you have a couple projects going and all those kind of things so I just picked this one up because I thought it was cute and let's check it out right quick oh that's, oh, that's so cute I love the way it's packaged I thought it was just going to be like in here I don't know why it didn't occur to me it's all flat so obviously they packaged it nicely oh look at this I said stay away from me oh <laughs> I love that. I didn't know it said that it has the little um, cactuses. It has, you know, your stitch markers or holders. These are stitch markers. Um, a little measuring tape. A little scissor. It's okay. Um, oh, this is actually a really good thing to have in here, like a little thimble. Because a lot of times we are, even when I'm doing, like, um, crocheting, like, mochila YU, that's a really tight stitch. And sometimes I'll have to push something or do something. That, that'll help. And then um, the uh, hooks, of course, themselves. So we have some big needles, and then these little guys that help you mark your rotations. I use these sometimes. Um, they're helpful if you're doing so many rows and you don't want to lose count. Um, but real quick, let's just grab like this I five. I want to see if these come off. I have other ones where if you pull hard enough, these things will come off. But this one's on there really good, so that's good. It is steel all the way throughout. You can see the end of the hook there so sometimes it'll just be this area and then this is just a plastic which is not great you want it to be the whole thing so that's cool I mean they feel nice and sturdy I don't know what else to say about that but <laughs> pretty cool they were inexpensive and I wanted to grab those um oh darn do I have those I picked up another set of fun um paper clips let me grab them they're here oh, somewhere hold on it reminded me I had picked up some paper clips the other day that were super cute right these little heart ones and um love ones with a little book with like a little heart in it and the little envelope with the heart there's like a coffee cup with a the heart there's the word love which I think is just adorable and they work really well I put these on my swaps and they held on to things like they should and then these are all heart shapes and they're like rose gold I also picked these little guys up and I wanted to pick up all weenie dog ones but this was a better deal to go with like these different little animals so that's what I did I don't know if they sent me a free one, it looks like, because it's outside of the package. Yeah, so this little penguin is there as a sample, I suppose, for another time. Look at the little weenie dogs! <laughs> How cute! Oh my gosh, that's what I got for that. This one has like a little cat silhouette. I don't know if you can see the little cat shape there. And a little elephant. And a bird! Really sweet! So, anyway, I'm just into fun paper clips, especially doing all these swaps. Like, sometimes I have to paper clip things to the packages or to the folders or whatever. So, I think these are cute to have. Let's do that with. Okay. Um, okay, HSN items real quick. I think the, most of these are um, auto ship, and one of them should be, I think, maybe Year of Craft, because otherwise I, w I don't know what it is. So, this is the uh, pop-up. I need to do more of these. I ordered... <laughs> 
during Christmas time, I ordered the mega bundle of the, the Christmas related ones. Didn't use them, but I have them, so I guess I'll have them for a later use. But um, it did come with a mechanism, and then this thing it pops out. And this is the auto ship they had for this. And I did skip some of them, but I pretty much allowed most of them to show up. So this is the last one that I'm allowing to get, if, even if it's the last one of the auto ship. I don't even know, but I thought it was cute with the little. Um, oh, it does come with the words too. I didn't realize that. Uh, with a little bubble quote, so that's cute. It's the pop-up auto ship, and then this one. I also, like I said, I have a year of craft. I hope that's what it is. Um, oh yes, the trio words. You know, I love these. Like new baby boy, new baby girl. I don't really make cards like that so often, but um, it's nice to have new home. And then this one's wedding day, Mother's Day, Father's Day. I didn't even know what they were gonna be. I just let them come because I know I like these. So happy to have those. And. Yep, I dropped the box. Let me open this up. Alright, sorry guys, my little one woke up. Uh, it says includes over 140 elements. So yeah, so it's the Aircraft Everyday Inspiration. I might think we're dwindling down to the last few because... Well, actually, we should know, right? Because um, the tab's in the book. Ugh. I should have taken this thing off. Hold on. <laughs> Shake. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Um... We have tabs, and it should tell you kind of how many issues we're getting, which issues, because each one of these your craft had has a magazine that comes with it. So let's open this up. Ooh, I'm telling you, I keep breaking my nails. This is issue six, so that's already at least a year's worth of your craft. So I'll unbox it real quick. Oh, look at the little bird told me. Look at that. <laughs> They do have some great ideas in here, and I follow them whenever I make a video for you guys of this. I follow along with one of the tutorials, and that's kind of how I do it. So, really sweet. Of course, we have templates, which I have the die that does that. Um, cute. Love the colorway already. Hopefully, this is, stays throughout. Look at that. The gold and that moss green and that beautiful rosy color. Oh, little um, stitch dies, so you can just add that as a element something love the color of the twine oh i hope they keep it this way i mean this is more of a minty than like that green but that's okay um little stamps again 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 they are acrylic stamps so you can see the little images there a little stencil love it this is a very very good stencil to have <laughs> very versatile and then lots and lots of sentiments sorry i'm trying to see what's going on here um, the little template for the birdhouse, tons of card blanks, envelopes, okay, there are more dies, so that's good. Oh, the little tree, and then like little flowers, you can do like a little silhouette thing. This is a whole big, um, gate or fence, uh, fencing, I guess. Look how big that is. So nice. And we'll take a quick look at the printed papers just so I can do an unboxing here since I don't have a lot going on in this video. Okay, not my favorite patterns, but I mean, if we mix and match them here and there, or just put them in the background, at least they'll add some color, right? Oh, that's cool, the little grid pattern. Little blue dots, I like that one better. Oh, this is a cute floral pattern. Little stripe. And the dots. And that is really sweet. Plaid, again, stripes. Weird little geometric dots. Zigzag, a rick rack, how are you? I look at that one. Uh, that one's okay. I think it looks better in this colorway over here. It's super cute. And then that burgundy again. And I'm hoping these papers match. I'm sure since they try to match everything else, I'm assuming that they make this match. Sometimes we get surprised that they don't match. It's like, what is going on here? Uh, and somebody had mentioned, you know, when I was doing the tutorials, like, oh, I think the white paper was in the first box. So, like, a lot of times in the issues, they'll refer to papers or things that are back in the first or second or third boxes. Boxes. I was, don't know what I was going to say there. And so, um, sometimes you don't have a certain color because you're supposed to dish it out or fish it out, should I say, of a different box. And there you go. So this one's not really white. I don't know if you can see it's kind of, like, off-white. Okay, so these match, which is nice. Let me put this back away and I'll be right back. One last thing from HSN. I picked up some 
some Giano's chocolate. I usually buy them in the big boxes. So this is the first time, well, not really the first time I've done it before, like once before. I think I picked up the rum meltaways. I picked up just a pound or whatever it is of a certain type. So this is the Coconut Islands. And I also picked up um, the toffee because Miranda loves the toffee. So <laughs> I just want to see kind of what this looks like. That's really pretty. Like if you're going to send it to someone as a gift, you can be assured that it's sent nicely. Giano sends it themselves. It doesn't really come from HSN. So. Um, ooh, these are coconut islands. They didn't really have pictures of them, so I didn't know what to expect. It is like very early in the morning, you guys. I'm gonna have to try one of these. <laughs> Let's see. Mm hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, it's probably gonna be, excuse me, like almond joy, because it didn't say anything about almonds, so I figured it didn't have an almond, right? That's really good. Which is interesting. They had another one called a haystack like coconut haystack or something and I do not like the way those taste I don't know why they to me they always taste like this is weird I mentioned it before like raid like the spray raid <laughs> the way you would smell raid that's how it tastes to me but Matt likes them so I don't know if there's something in there that I'm very sensitive to that makes it taste weird I don't know these don't taste like these taste very good all right oh and then the spellbinders order I ordered a lot of things that were on sale, but I ordered mostly um, things that I need, like staples. So I did pick up another pair of the glitter cutting plates for the Platinum system. Um, I mean, my plates are doing awesome. Again, they're, it's back in stock, the pretty, this one, the Aqua machine. Which reminds me, if you have Spellbinders and you're a club member, remember all of January, your first order, or whenever you use it, let's say you forgot. Um, you have a 15% off or 10% off extra coupon that came in the December kits. I don't remember if it was 15 or 10% off, but I think it expires um, January 30th or whatever. So if you have it, you should use it. Um, don't forget to use to use it, should I say. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at I've been cutting, 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 cutting. And I mean, I leave this one on top. I haven't cut into this one, but I do leave it on top. So it does get impressions from the dies, but it's not cut into. This one's the one I've been cutting into. And I just use either side whenever I feel like and... They're looking pretty great, so I will put this here with those. And let's see what else do I have in here. I think I bought some <laughs> Christmas stuff because um, the price was good, and I was like, you know what? I'll just keep it for obviously their dies; they don't go bad. Um, and I really liked the, the design, so we'll look at that in a minute. But I did pick up some of their foam tape. I was curious. It's four yards of foam tape, and I'd say it's about. Let me see. Oh my gosh, it's just over a quarter inch. It's not quite half an inch thick. Um, detailed embossing folder, and this one is the floral. I love their embossing folder, so I went and picked that up. Picked up the falling leaves. Super cute. These are A2 size. Um, oh, this goes with the... Um, <laughs> of course, I was going to say Anna Griffin, because it's very similar to the styling. Uh, Becca Fecan uh, flutter shutter cards. <laughs> Those uh, shutter cards that have... Pretty much all of it. There's some portions I didn't pick up or I didn't get for review or however. So I, I did pick this up on my own because I love it. <laughs> so the little shutters can fit in here or you can just use it on its own as a frame or however. So I did pick that up. The eyelet lace frame of that collection basically. But you can use it. Like as you can see this card doesn't have anything to do with the collection. Um, just use that. So this is the thing I picked up. It's a whole set. So basically you create a kinetic card with the Christmas Cascade card base, but you don't have to use the, you, it's not even Christmassy really, if you really look at it, you, I mean, just the colors they use here. But I think it's fun just to make a kinetic card. I'm not real great at doing waterfall cards because I don't like, they have to be lined up really well to work right. And I think I had a mechanism from like Crafter's Companion that I ended up returning because I think it was in that Precious Moments, Precious Memories set or whatever it was that I did return after all because it just wasn't my cup of tea. So I don't have that anymore. Um, but, I also picked up the uh, extras that go with it. There's still another one. It's like a, a snowflake thing, but I'll pick that up later. For now, I just picked up these guys because they were so pretty. I love everything that's in here and the wording and the little birds. So I went ahead and picked those up to go with that. And then two, um, oh, uh, two, three embossing folders. So we have the um, diagonal stripe slimline. We have the big dot slimline, which I actually already picked up, which I didn't realize. So I will have to do a little giveaway with that, included in a bundle or something, and the striped slimline. So, just pick those guys up. And I think that's it for now, guys. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'll have some more videos coming up for you guys um, going up to the uh, craft day. Not anything <laughs> new, <laughs> per se, because um, I've already done the, view the videos for like the review items that I received, and then also 
I would say obviously, but not obviously. Also, um, the Anna Griffin things I, I recently picked up myself and I've been making videos with those. So there might be a few more videos, but just reminders basically going into the uh, craft day. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have links in the description box and I will see you guys at the next. Hi guys, so I know this is totally weird. I'm gonna open up Alice's swap. I just got in. It was in Wisconsin and the last the last of the tracking and then all of a sudden it showed up on Friday morning. So what's interesting is that I have the rest of her swap partners right there, ready to go. All I gotta do is grab one of each of hers and pop them in there. So good to go. Everybody still got delivered, you know, or sent out at the same time. So look how pretty she has it. So thanks so much, Alice. Sorry that there was a little hold up there. But look at her beautiful um, altered paper clips, so pretty. Oh, and she has Anna Griffin papers. Just gorgeous. And let's open this up. So I'm doing this with one hand, guys. Hopefully you can hear me. There's also people, you know, driving. <laughs> I'm just standing outside my truck. Um, super cute. Little wood chip heart. I can see that there's like some beautiful ephemera pieces in here. A cute little baggie. I love that. Oh, Alice. She says, you know, if it didn't get there, it's okay. I didn't have that much of Valentine. I mean, this is gorgeous. Are you kidding? Look at the butterfly die cuts. Oh my gosh, you can see those hearts in there. Beautiful pieces. Um, some vellum that she cut with like a slimline um, die. The embossed paper here. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness it made it, I mean, just in time because, you know, we want to ship everything out in a timely manner. But I am just so happy that you're able to um, participate in the exchange in this time around. Look at all those sweet things in there. And then another little bag. Oh, there's like a little um, paper clip that's like a um, butterfly. Oh, someone's not happy. Um, <laughs> some other things here, some stickers. And a little uh, Valentine's like uh, paper pad, a little pad, super cute. Thank you so much, Alice. I'm so sorry that was a hold up, but you know what? We're all swapped out. You're gonna get yours just in time like everybody else. So I will include this in a video coming up.